So really things are looking pretty good for Colorado when you, when you compare to the nation, when you compare to where we've been, uh, we're definitely on an upward trend. Employment gains have been pretty broad based across industries. So you can see that only three industries lost employment in 2012 in Colorado. Those were the federal government sector with a very small decline, the transportation and utility sector, and the information sector. And that information sector includes things like publishing, broadcasting, and telecommunications. So that industry has really struggled during the recession. But if you look towards the top, you can see um, a bunch of industries that have done very well over the past year. And at the very top of the list is construction. Construction sector has added six percent to employment over the past year and you can see this is one of the areas where uh, Colorado looks quite a bit different than the nation as a whole. The nation construction employment was up a little bit but fairly flat and pretty strong gains in Colorado overall and in fact all but the bottom two industries here Colorado employment gains were outpacing the nation. So this is what's happened over the past year if you look at what's happened since the recession started um, it tells you how, where we still need to go. Uh, so I mentioned the very strong gains in the employment sector over the past year, but you can see that construction employment is still down about 28% in Colorado from its peak levels. So we're seeing very healthy growth, but about half of the industries are still below their peak levels of employment. Here I won't spend too much time. Usually I show several slides on the residential construction market. We've heard a lot about that today. Overall, housing market conditions are improving across most of the U.S. So this shows residential, the value of residential construction activity. So one of the upsides of a strong housing market is that people start building. Um, and you can see that residential construction activity is up 56% in Colorado. That's about twice the gains that we're seeing in the U.S. overall. But most states are seeing an uptick in residential construction activity. In addition to residential construction activity, permitting activity is up about 69%. It's up over 100% if you look just at multifamily permits. Uh, prices are up, sales are up, inventories are down, so everything really moving in the right direction for the, for the construction sector. If you look at the non-residential, non-building uh, uh, construction activity, there we see a little bit more of a mixed, uh, a mixed signal. About half of the states saw an increase in this type of construction activity in 2012, and about half are still exp experiencing a decline. You can see for the U.S. overall, this type of activity is still down 4% in 2012 compared to the previous year. Colorado, it is up slightly. A lot of that is due to the light rail project. Um, so that's a lot of the increase from 2012 is coming from that one project. Um, but things are moving in the right direction in this sector in Colorado. We see vacancy rates coming down for commercial properties, for retail, office, industrial, and usually as vacancy rates start to come down, you start to see some construction activity pick up in this sector.